Have you ever wondered why, despite all your affirmations and positive thinking, wealth still seems elusive? Imagine you've poured over the pages of Think and Grow Rich, and you've grasped the intellectual understanding that you become what you think about. You diligently recite your list of affirmations about wealth every day. But for some reason, wealth seems like a distant dream. According to Napoleon Hill, you should be rolling in riches by now, right? But here's the kicker. If you're not wealth conscious, then all this thinking, all this affirming, it's not going to open the floodgates to wealth. Sure, thinking and affirming are actions you're taking, but they are merely components of the wealth creation process. If you skip the initial step, you're like a hamster on a wheel, running in circles but not making any progress. So what's this crucial first step? It's being. Yes, you heard it right. To attract wealth, you must first be wealthy. Then, and only then, can you think wealthy thoughts, speak wealthy affirmations, and take wealthy action. But how can I be wealthy if I'm not wealthy, you might ask. It's a logical question, but it's rooted in a false presumption that you're devoid of wealth. The reality is, you have wealth. You're simply not conscious of it. You've built a physical reality that obstructs you from experiencing wealth. This is where the science of quantum physics comes into play. It postulates that at a subatomic level, you, me, everything else in the universe is energy. When you break it all down, we're all composed of the same stuff and we're all interconnected. The universe is just this vast ocean of energy vibrating at different frequencies, which gives the illusion of individuality. The crux of the matter is we experience the illusion of separateness from each other, physical objects, and wealth, because our senses decode the energy around us in a way that fabricates our physical reality. So you might ask, how can I be wealthy if I don't have wealth? Let's delve into that. Wealth consciousness begins with the understanding that you already possess wealth. You're simply not aware of it. Let's delve into this concept a little further. Consider the idea of being wealthy. This concept is often obscured by our physical reality, which can prevent us from experiencing the wealth we already have. It might sound strange, but bear with me. You see, our perception of wealth is often tied to physical manifestations of money. The bank balance, the luxury car, the sprawling mansion. But true wealth runs deeper. It's a state of being, a mindset, a consciousness. So how do we tap into this consciousness? Well, this is where things get interesting. Quantum physics, the study of the smallest particles in the universe, may provide some insights. At the core, everything in the universe, including us, is made of energy. We're all part of this vast, interconnected energy field. The separateness we perceive, you, me, that high-end sports car you've been dreaming of, is just an illusion. It's our senses decoding the energy around us, creating our physical reality. This process is deeply influenced by our thoughts. In quantum physics, it's believed that things only exist because we observe them. Without our observation, things remain as waves, mere probabilities of existence. Our beliefs act as a powerful energy system in our lives, shaping our experiences, including our experience of wealth. They define who we are and how we be in the world. If we believe we are someone who is trying to get wealthy by repeating affirmations, then that is our reality. We will always be trying to get wealthy. The key then is to shift our belief system, to move from trying to get wealthy to being wealthy, despite any external physical evidence. Remember, the external evidence is an illusion based on our current belief systems. We are all part of the universe's vast energy field, and it's our perception that creates our reality, including our financial reality. So let's start changing our perceptions, shall we? What if I told you, your beliefs are shaping your reality, including your wealth consciousness? It's a bold statement, but it's grounded in the fascinating world of quantum physics and the understanding of our universe as a vast ocean of energy. Energy that vibrates at various frequencies, creating illusions of individuality and separateness. But here's the kicker. Our senses decode this energy, creating our physical reality. Our beliefs then, act as powerful energy systems, shaping how we interpret and interact with this energy. When it comes to wealth, our beliefs can either act as a golden key or a hefty padlock. Think about it. If you believe you're poor, your actions, decisions, and reactions will reflect that. 
You might avoid opportunities because you believe they're out of your reach. You might dismiss investing because you believe it's only for the wealthy. In essence, you're living a self-fulfilling prophecy based on your beliefs about wealth. On the flip side, if you believe you're wealthy, even if your bank account suggests otherwise, you'll act and think like a wealthy person. You'll be open to opportunities, willing to take calculated risks and invest in your future. You'll see the world as a place of abundance, not scarcity. Our beliefs about wealth determine how we be in the world. They shape our reality, our experiences, and ultimately, our level of wealth. If we're always trying to get wealthy, if that's the core belief driving us, then that's exactly what our reality will be. Always trying, never quite achieving. It's like being on a treadmill, running furiously, but never really moving forward. It's exhausting, it's frustrating, and it's entirely down to our beliefs. So let's flip the script. Let's not be those who are trying to get wealthy, let's be those who are wealthy. Let's change our beliefs and change our reality. Remember, a truly wealthy person isn't wealthy because they have money. They have money because they are wealthy. That's the distinction that most people have backward. If we're constantly trying to get wealthy, that's exactly what our reality will be. Always trying, never achieving. Now, let's redefine wealth. A truly wealthy person isn't wealthy because they have money. They have money because they are wealthy. Let's chew on that for a moment. What does that mean? Does it mean that the numbers in your bank account or the cash in your wallet don't define your wealth? Absolutely. These are merely symbols, representations of wealth not wealth itself. Take the story of Tony Robbins, the renowned motivational speaker and author. Robbins became a millionaire at an incredibly young age, but then, due to a series of unfortunate decisions and circumstances, he lost it all. His bank account drained, his material wealth vanished. But here's the catch. Within a year, he had regained his financial footing. How is that possible? The answer lies in understanding the true nature of wealth. Robbins never lost his wealth. He only lost his money, which is just a symbol of wealth. His wealth was intact in his mindset, his attitude, his wealth consciousness. His story underscores a powerful truth. Wealth is not about the accumulation of money or material possessions. It's about the person you are, your mindset, your beliefs, your values, and your attitude towards life and money. Robbins, like many others who have navigated the highs and lows of financial life, understood that wealth is a state of mind, a way of being. It's an attitude that magnetically attracts abundance into your life. It's about embracing the belief that you are wealthy, regardless of the current state of your bank account. This is the essence of being wealth conscious. It's about understanding that you are inherently wealthy because of who you are, not what you have. It's about knowing that you are capable of creating wealth, that you deserve wealth, and that you can attract wealth. Wealth consciousness, therefore, is not about the money you have, but the person you are. It's about the power of your beliefs, the strength of your mindset, and the depth of your understanding that you are wealth. And so we come to understand that being wealthy is not about having money. It's about being in a state of wealth consciousness. It's about being wealth. And that's the real definition of wealth. Wealth consciousness is not about the money you have, but the person you are. So, how can you become wealth conscious? How can you attract wealth because of who you are? Let's delve into the crux of the matter, shall we? Developing a wealth consciousness mindset isn't about waving a magic wand. It's not about wishing upon a star, hoping that one day wealth will magically appear. No, it's about a fundamental shift in perspective. It's about challenging your beliefs about wealth and perceiving yourself as already wealthy. Start by understanding that wealth isn't just about money. It's about abundance in all aspects of life. It's about personal growth, fulfilling relationships, meaningful work, and yes, financial freedom. When you start seeing wealth in this light, you'll realize that you're already wealthier than you thought. Next, practice gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool in shifting your mindset from scarcity to abundance. Instead of focusing on what you don't have, start appreciating what you do have. By acknowledging the wealth already present in your life, you're signaling to the universe that you're ready for more. Now let's get a little daring. Challenge your beliefs about wealth. Do you hold on to the notion that money is the root of all evil? 
or that wealthy people are greedy? These beliefs serve as barriers to wealth. Instead, understand that money is a tool, a resource. It's neutral. It amplifies who you already are. So if you're kind-hearted and generous, more money simply means more kindness and generosity. Finally, visualize your wealthy self. What does your life look like when you're wealthy? How do you feel? What are you doing? Visualization is a powerful technique that aligns your subconscious mind with your conscious desires. When your subconscious believes that you're wealthy, you'll start acting like a wealthy person and thus attract wealth. Remember, wealth consciousness is about being, then doing, and then having. Start being wealthy today and watch how wealth follows.